Buongiorno a tutti. Allora, nel capitolo finale del mio libro Il Terzo Like, il capitolo si intitola Uniamo i puntini, scrivevo quanto segue. Cosa ci aspetta da oggi in avanti dipenderà da noi. Nello scenario peggiore ci aspetterebbero decenni di oppressione, probabilmente tutta la nostra vita, poiché i tempi della storia possono essere piuttosto lunghi. Se non ci sarà una reazione energica e determinata da parte dei popoli, il Terzo Reich continuerà a esercitare il proprio potere ipnotico sull'umanità come nel peggiore mondo possibile immaginato da George Orwell. Ora, questo libro l'ho scritto più di un anno fa, nel frattempo le cose procedono, vanno avanti e lo stato dell'arte è ancora peggiore di un anno fa per quel che riguarda il terzo like e voglio mostrarvelo con un video che è stato trasmesso a gennaio di quest'anno al World Economic Forum che parla della trasparenza cerebrale. Guardate di che cosa si parla. In the zone. Even you can't believe how productive you've been. Your memo is finished, your inbox is under control and you're feeling sharper than you have in a decade. Sensing your joy, your playlist shifts to your favorite song. Sending chills up your spine as the music begins to play. You glance at the program running in the background on your computer screen and notice a now familiar sight that appears whenever you're overloaded with pleasure. Your theta brainwave activity decreasing in the temporal regions of your brain. You mentally move the cursor to the left and scroll through your brain data over the past few hours. You can see your stress levels rising as the deadline to finish your memo approached, causing a peak in your beta brainwave activity right before an alert popped up, telling you to take a brain break. But what's that unusual change in your brain activity when you're asleep? It started earlier in the month. You send a text message to your doctor with a mental swipe of your cursor. Could you take a quick look at my brain data? Anything to worry about? Your mind starts to wander to the new colleague on your team, whom you know you shouldn't be daydreaming about, given the policy against intra-office romance. But you can't help fantasizing just a little. But then you start to worry that your boss will notice your amorous feelings when she checks your brain activity and shift your attention back to the present. You breathe a sigh of relief when the email she sends you later that day congratulates you on your brain metrics from the past quarter, which have earned you another performance bonus. You head home, jamming to the music, with your work-issued brain-sensing earbuds still in. When you arrive at work the next day, a somber cloud has fallen over the office. Along with emails, text messages, and GPS location data, the government has subpoenaed employees' brainwave data from the past year, They have compelling evidence that one of your co-workers has committed massive wire fraud. Now, they're looking for his co-conspirators. You discover they are looking for synchronized brain activity between your co-worker and the people he has been working with. While you know you're innocent of any crime, you've been secretly working with him on a new startup venture. Shaking, you remove your earbuds.